Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. I'm very happy to be here and I'm very happy you are here with me. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot reading. Sagittarius love tarot reading. Sagittarius love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Sagittarius love messages reading channeled. <laughs> love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I don't know, the cards, I <laughs> sort of like feel kind of like I'm rushing out a door. What's going on with your reading today? I feel kind of like everything's like haphazard, you know, like I'm in a hurry, which I'm not. It's just the energy that's going on. <laughs> okay, so, well, we have the chariot card. That's interesting, and look where this is. It's the seven of cups in reverse. Cancer and moon energy, and this is literally movement. Very interesting. Seven of Cups in reverse, Venus in Scorpio energy. This is somebody who has some clarity about what they want, finally. Is this why I'm feeling this? Has something been put out there, maybe not put out there? It's extra quiet or extra, extra noisy? Lots of posting. Should you be connected via social media? Maybe somebody's saying something because there's, yeah, there's like a haphazard, like, got to get out the door kind of energy. It's the chariot energy that I was feeling. And that's around communication. It's around emotional communication. It's around this love. It's somebody opening up and communicating. They figured out the riddle to get these sphinx, these obstacles out of the way here on your journey. The two of you, your connection. You have to tell, have an answer to the riddle to get those sphinx out of the way to get this chariot moving. So something is about to really change here because it looks like your person has some clarity about something. Is this how they're feeling? Two of swords coming in reverse. Your first energy wanting to land. Moon and Libra energy. It's the moon in reverse. That's the clarity. That's the truth coming. How they feel about you. They're overwhelmed. They've been indecisive. Not really forthcoming, not moving forward is where they've been. An imbalance, I want to say, in Divine Feminine. <laughs> I'm telling you, this energy is just incredible. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy. So they're trying to balance out those energies so they can get clear with themselves, be honest with themselves so they can come and be honest and, and clear with you. Ten of Cups is wanting to show itself Mars and Pisces energy. A new cycle here. Were you building a life together? Were you Had you already built a life together? Was it on the table? Because it's back on the table. There's a lot of hope here. The end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation. And I say and or, look, that's the truth. I'm telling you. Because sometimes, you know, it can be that you're talking with somebody, but you're still separated physically, you know, either like still considering yourselves not together, separated, or just in distance. As I'm saying that, the Three of Pentacles wants to show itself. This is Mars and Capricorn energy. It's coming together and, and everybody's showing up. It's a collaborative energy. It's teamwork. It's I need you, you need me, we need to do this together, not one person. It's around the pentacle, the commitment, the relationship, the connection, it's communication, some timing going on here, divine timing, communication, growth, pentacles in order to move forward. Everybody has to be on the same, in the same place. You know, this is Mars and Capricorn energy and Mars is the planet of action. We saw that with the chariot card. I tell you, passion, drive, completion as well. This is a long overdue conversation. And as we're cutting the deck here, the Eight of Pentacles is also showing up here. Somebody is working on coming. It's real clear. Sun and Virgo energy, that sun energy working toward a happy outcome. That's the two of you. That's the journey of love there. The five Pentacles. 
That's Mercury in Taurus. That's the no contact, the no communication, the loss. Right there is that six pentacle working on that reciprocal energy. And we saw that coming in. They have something they want to say to you. They want to, I feel that they want to be honest about how they feel and what else. Because the truth in the partnership placement is real clear here with Archangel Michael. The angel for strength and protection. Just wanting to light the way to the truth. To get everybody on the path to the truth for everybody's highest good. To, to work things out. Restore balance, restore harmony, get you here to that sun energy. You see that. That's also what's going on here in this sun and Virgo energy. A lot of details around that. Lots of practicalities around the pentacles. So what exactly is going on? For some of you, is, is there a distance? Cultural, religious differences, other people, commitment issues. I think that's pretty clear. We saw that in the Seven of Cups. Is it around other choices? Yeah, it very well could be, but we also saw them coming in with clarity. On that chariot, it feels fast to me. Knight of Swords, energy, Eight of Wands, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, energy. This is just coming in with a whole lot to say. The Seventh Pentacle, you've been waiting. That's Venus and Taurus energy, you know? waiting for things to be reciprocal. It's been, oh, there's been a long wait, you know, re trying to, I want to say reach a goal, you know, is it the 10 of cups? Is that where you were? Is it where you were heading or was it on the table? Because I feel like they're working hard to come in here and communicate about that. We can unsee the 10 of cups. But that seventh pentacle, they sure are keeping you close. And I know that there's some information they're either hearing or seeing feeling what is that because they're kind of like on in a rush it's it really is just this rushing feeling haphazard feeling of like i gotta hurry is there timing issues with you and why they need to hurry i feel like it's just more around maybe something that they've heard or seen or maybe you even, even said but it's like a triggering energy you know working hard, keeping you close here, and working on that eighth pentacle, which of course this is a number of action. There's a lot of Gaia and healing energy around that. It is also around some karma. And it's also infinity, which is connecting us to Libra, interestingly enough, which is connecting us to balancing the divine feminine, divine masculine energies, that yin-yang energy, getting your person clear, within themselves and honest so they can bring that clarity and truth to you, the renewal and that infinity. And that's exactly why we're seeing Archangel Michael here. That's Sagittarius, that's your energy. It's a 14, it's a five, that's change. It's connecting to the throat chakra, of course. It's coming out of conflicting energy because that's what that's what Archangel Michael is wanting to do here. It's Jupiter energy. It's the planet, the biggest planet, the planet of prosperity and expansion moving forward. Hope, bringing back in some hope. We saw that in the Ten of Cups for this really feels like reconciliation. Some hope for coming back together, some optimism, definitely some information that's needing to come through that they're wanting to bring through. And also that element of timing in Jupiter. You know, is somebody ready? Somebody wasn't. Somebody was available. Somebody wasn't. It could be as simple as that. Commitment issues. Or maybe there have been a lot of other practicalities that have cleared the way now. Look at this. It's the sun and the six of cups. There's exactly where this energy has been from the get-go. Leo energy. Also source. Higher power messages from the divine crown chakra working things out to get here to the successful outcome a new cycle the end of no communication and no contact that's just really clear for me and again i say end or in separation because that might be different for some of you if you're far away or maybe you're still not going to see each other yet that you haven't made any decisions but that's the renewal and it's a nice it's a really beautiful outcome it's the sun it's the, the conscious you know, it's horse, it's a life force, it's a new day, it's warmth, it's growth, it's illuminating everything, it's bright. Of course, deducing into a one new beginnings, lots of opportunity and potential in every new day with that sun. And it's coming here with the six of cups. So this is a lot of 
some of, I think, maybe it's actually a lot I'm hearing of what's been triggering them. I think there's a lot more than that, but there's a strong nostalgic energy here. So yeah, it could also be that they've just been looking at their phone or maybe it's their computer, or maybe talking to people for those of you connected, because some of you are connected via friends and family. But it's really just... It's nostalgic. It's thinking about when things were a lot easier, but also realizing where things are. And these five cups that are within here also holding some regret around that, how things were left. These four of cups here right in the front, moon and cancer energy coming in here kind of out of the blue. Sure feels that way. Knots around the communication. And there is an apathy here. You know, the four of cups is here within the six of cups. And so I don't know if they've heard it or seen it or something's got them feeling like maybe you've moved on or you're not interested anymore. Whether it's true or not, something's got a little fire under their belly. Soul connection energy can be for some of you, you've known your person from childhood, can also just feel that way. Soulmate energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, twin flame energy is here. It's not for everybody, but it is here. And if you are on a Twin Flame journey, know that you have Twin Flame readings as well, really long and in-depth if you want to check those out at some point. The reunion energy is quite strong. A lot of times this is nostalgic energy for me, but today this is not feeling like a nostalgic reunion energy. This is, this is planning something, whether it's being able to see each other in person or being able to see each other in person or via communication. All the decks that are coming in are linked below. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, your playlists, Sagittarius, your zodiac readings, as well as all 12 zodiac, all 12 zodiac signs, I should say the other 11, <laughs> all 12. There are also all signs, tarot readings. Those are love tarot readings, love readings for the collective. Again, if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in depth twin flame readings. Remember this is a general reading, so take what resonates, let the rest go. If you feel something is coming in vice versa, then that's how it is. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much. Let's see what else is going on here because it's really clear, <laughs> pun intended, that they're kind of rushing in to tell you how they feel. What more is going on here? The truth? That's the truth. And that's really clear for me. <laughs> Pun intended. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. I hope. The Ace of Cups. The Page of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. The Moon in Reverse. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Wands. The Two of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. This is very, very clearly sticking out and is yours. Five of Wands in reverse. Judgment. Ten of Wands in reverse. That's some big time clarity here. That's Archangel Gabriel. Wake up, make a decision, what do you want? We see that they have been indecisive, overwhelmed. They're ready to work this out. They're wanting to work this out. This is really clear partnership placement again. Archangel Michael here in cahoots <laughs> with Archangel Gabriel. Just wants to work things out. Ton of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So a lot of stress, a lot of things going on around this connection. Putting these wands down, a lightning of this load, quite literally a new cycle here, connecting right with Archangel Michael. There's a lot going on here. I want to see the bottom of the deck. It's the Two of Pentacles. Interesting. So that's also here with the Two of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. Saturn and Leo energy. So this is 
This is solving these issues. This is solving the problems. This is restoring harmony. This is kind of really wanting it to happen. This is coming out of or working out whatever obstacles and challenges have been going on. Two of pentacles, what's that other pentacle? Is it just a lack of commitment? Is there another pentacle, quote unquote, that's been around Sagittarius? Whether it's romantic, money, work, big differences in your lifestyles or where you're living, cultural, religious differences, other people that maybe are kind of involved by way of yeah, being in, in your person's head or even around them. Whatever that is, they're wanting to solve this. Look, it's connecting right here with the Ten of Pentacles. Like the Ten of Cups, were you in a long-term commitment? Were you working toward that or was it on the table? Because it's back on the table here, Mercury and Virgo energy. And it's connecting directly here with the Five of Cups in reverse, Mars and Scorpio energy. So this is coming in with a healing energy and they're asking for forgiveness. What are they asking to be forgiven, forgiven for? Because they're, it's really clear that they're wanting to share with you how they feel. That much is true. What else, what other truths do they, are you waiting for? There might be some more, you know, that I'm not privy to, but definitely how they feel. It's been really clear and I feel like they're kind of in a rush to get to you. Was there some arguing? For some of you, there was. So there is an apology around that. What happened? Because it could have been around a separation and around why things were separated, excuse me, or while it was happening. And it could also be that somebody here was partaking in a little bit too much, let's just say devil energy, you know, things to kind of uh, vices, I want to say you know, bad habits, that sort of thing. And that led to an argument, or that was part of it, that have been around each other or were, had some kind of arguing going around friends and family. Again, it's not going to be for everyone, but there have been some, there has been some hurt in regards to things that were said and both not said. For some of you, it might still be recent, but that's just the hurt that I'm feeling. That's just a lot of heart, you know? These three cups here, that's Mercury and Cancer energy. And they're knocked over and they're in reverse. So we know that you're not communicating and you haven't been communicating well, depending on the situation that you're in. And of, cor of course, again, it could be that it was in person, but it could also be that it was like on the phone or in messages or whatnot. They're sorry, they're asking for forgiveness. And this is a coming back in energy. They're wanting to move past all this. And they're coming here with the truth of how they feel and what they want. Archangel Gabriel, judgment. Get some clarity. What do you want? Wake up, make a decision. This is more energy, much stronger energy of asking for forgiveness. This is airing everything out. All the, everything that, that, needs to be, needs some clarity, everything that we need to get clear on that you are waiting to hear, everything that they need to say, truths. This is them coming back in here. It's kind of like taking out, you know, a rug and shaking it out. Reconciliation has been strong from the get-go here. You know, I could ask reconciliation or closure. It sure feels like whole lot of reconciliation to me. The moon energy is here in reverse with Archangel Michael. Pisces energy also Cancer and Gemini coming through. That's more of, <laughs> that's more clarity about how they feel and their next move, I want to say. And the truth coming to you quite literally here in this moon energy. It's this crustacean whew, getting out of the way. It's all this emotional, look at all this blockage here. You know, your person's been afraid. You haven't been communicating. That crustacean's out of the way. This emotional flow is coming. So it's also really strong King of Cups energy because there is a reveal. And again, it feels and has felt from the get-go very haphazard, like really fast. Like they, I don't know if it's, you know, them fumbling around 
typing or leaving out the door or whatever it is, but it feels really fast to me. So they're coming with this truth of how they feel, what else? Because it really is also what do they want? Because this is the question, Archangel Gabriel is posing the question. Wake up, what do you want? What do you want? Make a decision. We see what they want because they're coming with the truth of how they feel and what they want, whatever needs to get worked out here because they are asking for forgiveness. They're not trying to skip over it. They wanna move past it. They're bringing in a pentacle too. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus energy. So this is that 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups energy of were you already in a long-term commitment? Were you building a life together? Were you already there or was it on the table? Because they're bringing it back on the table. And it is an out of the blue energy. Look what is right above it, which is right below Archangel Gabriel. The Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Proposal energy. Marriage proposal energy. Is that for everybody? Probably not. Proposals can be let's talk or let's meet up. It could be a lot of things. It's new beginnings, but it is a proposal energy. They are coming in here kind of out of the blue and it feels really fast to me. I don't know if there's actual timing issues like a hourglass being turned over and over or if it's just a matter of, of a feeling that they have that maybe you have one foot out the door. Maybe you've posted or said something about moving on. Maybe you have and they're nervous about that. Whatever the case is, they're coming in really fast with an offer. This dove is diving into this baptismal cup, creating a whole lot of waves. So it can be that yeah, maybe there's going to be a conversation around other people, quite an emotional one. Doves, they come in a pair. Lovey-dovey, they say. Here's one. That's yours coming in here. Really out of the blue energy. Also a validation with the Ace of Wands in reverse, but also telling us that there have it has been taking forever, delays. Maybe even for some of you that this has gone on before. There's just been some kind of false start energy where, you know, message came in and then it disappeared or you had plans and then they fell apart, whatever. It's also here, look, the Page of Cups, this is where your person's energy is the strongest Sagittarius. And this is, yeah, it's kind of student energy. You know, it can be even somebody that's younger. It doesn't mean that they are, but they're coming in here with this cup and they're just trying to figure out how to get it to you. You know, they're kind of offering it to the Two of Wands a lot wiser here. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out a little bit. Two of Wands, Mars, and Aries energy. Mars, again, the planet of action. Passion, drive, completion energy. Holding on to the energy of love, holding on to a wand. And then there's one here bolted, you know. So what is that? Is that kind of their life? Is that the distance? Is that another connection? Is it family of origin? Really big differences in your life because we saw that in the Eight of Pentacles. They're trying to work something out here and they're trying to make this decision. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Saturn, energy choices. A lot of various options here. I think they already made the choice. We saw that in the Seven of Swords coming in with the Chariot as this energy was going that they were just like, I felt, you know, it's my sign for a hurried type of energy, like a triggering of things flying, kind of tripping over themselves. It could be physical movement in that way, but it's also my sign for just things moving like they're triggered, they're worried, they're, they're wanting to make a move here. And we see that's actually also a lot of that Knight of Wands energy because this is just sort of jumping on and going, let's go, even though a little bit scared here still. And maybe even that this have been cycles, because this always reminds me of, of like a horse from an amusement park, you know, that just keeps going around. You know, and how long has it been in this position? They look pretty paranoid. You know, they've got their arm around, they're holding on to their wand. The leaves have changed, the energy of love, but ready to go nonetheless. Really just ready to jump on and come out of the blue. So that's a lot of that energy as well. But the Page of Cups looking down here at this Two of Wands this completion energy, making this decision to move forward. This is what you've been waiting for. This is them making this decision. And it can also be travel again, physical travel, but it's also travel toward you. Also a pretty major decision here we see being made that it is being made. Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions has said, hello, <laughs> 
make a decision here, balance out those energies, get clear, get some clarity, and bring that to your Sagittarius with the truth. Get out of that duality energy. If you want that renewal, that's what you got to do. So they're holding on to this earth here, which is bringing in the world card. And you know what that is. That's completion energy as well, and that's reaching a goal. And it's also getting out of everything that has gone on. It's the new cycle. It's the Five of Cups in reverse energy big time, and of course, on another level with our major arcana wanting to be your overall energy judgment today, which is moving past it, not skipping past it, working it out, but not dragging it in. Fool's energy, not bringing it in on the new start, on your new journey together, but having worked it out, not dragging the baggage in, you know? There's something here that they're still working out. I feel, again, that they've made this decision, and it, and it could be that they're making it or that when they make it, it's just kind of like, boom, coming. Because even here in the Five of Pentacles in reverse, that Mercury and Taurus energy that came in in the Eight of Pentacles, of course, is coming back in here. It's a healing energy. It's a returning energy. The end of no communication for sure. This Page of Cups tries to figure it out, again, handing this cup over <laughs> to the two of wands here in this world energy. The divine, divine timing, communication, growth, very strong soulmate energy, completion energy, obstacles out of the way, lessons learned, karma, karmic debts paid, coming in here wanting to complete some picture and that here in this little world is life-changing decision, Sagittarius. What's going on here? Something big, I feel. Okay, so it's wanting to be bottoms up. The magician is here. Gemini and Virgo energy, Mercury energy. <laughs> There's the renewal. Manifesting you, manifesting soulmate energy, strong. Turning visions into reality and taking this inspired action. Of course, that's the renewal. That's also... An eight, an action number with lots of healing energy. And there's karma around there. It's having worked it out. It's also infinity. Again, the balancing of the energies, the completion, the renewal here. The magician has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, and can alchemize everything that's happened, the past, the current, and kind of set things up for the future here in this little world, which is very much on their mind. This is really incredibly big. I feel really big. Page of Swords. Yeah, they've been watching and holding on to that truth. That came through really clear. And maybe that's part of it too, just farting around, as my mom would say, wasting time. For how long? You know, before they, because a lot of how they feel has been coming through. So I feel that your person has actually always felt this way and known it. But what, what, for whatever reasons has not brought that forward, or maybe even they just weren't clear in their head about it and had this wake up energy and said, wait a minute. Yeah, because they're jumping out of that page of swords. And again, this can also be connecting us to some of the talking perhaps that's going on with other people. It won't be for everybody that they are, but for those of you that have those connections, they are trying to get some information. Eight of swords in reverse. Coming unstuck, Jupiter and Gemini energy. This is a release. It's a freeing energy because this is where they put themselves. The Jupiter and Gemini energy here. Separation, not talking, not facing things, not facing how they feel. This is transactional energy, the swords. It's clarity in relationships. It's truth. It's information. That aid here. So they had to work some things out. That's around karma. They put themselves here. It's Jupiter energy holding themselves back. That's the planet of prosperity and expansion. Kind of leaving things, I feel, kind of, I don't know for how long, but feeling a little bit hopeless. It's the release of that. It's having worked it out. It's coming out of this. This is really incredibly clear. Star energy. Aquarius and Uranus energy. This is the renewal. And... Well, yeah, <laughs> not being so hopeless anymore, not feeling like things 
you know, when that Ten of Wands was in the upright, which we see here in the reverse now. I mean, it's just incredibly clear, pun intended. <laughs> what can I say? Faded connection, yes. Biggest wish, energy, yes. Check, check, check. There has been a really long, I feel, cooling off period of not talking. And for some of you, there was some arguing. So it can't even be for those of you that are nearby, you know. Whatever the case is, I really like this a lot. And this is a 17. It's coming to an 8 again, that action number. And that 8 star is a gift to the strength card, Leo Energy, and the source. And that's to get through to this new cycle here. Manifesting abundance as well in that 8. Lots of healing energy. You're reading. The world card. The Nine of Wands, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, so that's the apology we already know. Definitely an apology here. Definitely a sharing of their feelings. It's feeling kind of <laughs> intense, actually. What I say offer, I feel like it's more about coming together and making a decision. It's lover's energy for me. We saw that... That feeling, the, the feeling that I have of you and the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles of kind of apathetic, one foot out the door hurts. More of that here, Nine of Wands. And this is your energy, Sagittarius. It's moon and Sagittarius energy. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's kind of holding back, maintaining, you know, some boundaries. Like, wait a minute here. And that Ninth Wand, you know, right behind you are the Eight of Wands, and that's communication, you're kind of leery. You want to hear from your person. Look at this. Kind of anticipating their return, but you have a lot you want to say to them. <laughs> I'm putting that mildly because it came through, as I said, it is kind of intense. I feel like you really have some, in there's some intense emotions that I feel here. It's that fiery energy. This Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight is just really all over the place in your reading today. And you know, 88, that's butterfly energy. That's a new stage energy. And 888 is at one with the universe. Here, we have the world card here. But that's the return coming in. Saturn and Pisces energy. It's here with the Three of Swords. Saturn and Libra energy. So what was around that Saturn energy? Slowing things down, obstacles, karma, tradition, rules, all of that, I feel like is getting worked out, will or will be, has or will be getting worked out as they come back in here. I see that you're a little bit leery. Definitely with an apology. We know this was in the upright. Three of Swords, Saturn, and Libra energy. It's around the heartbreak, the loss, the breakup energy. It's coming in reverse. That's healing energy. This Page of Swords has been holding on to it for, I feel like, a really long time. The world card, here it is. We saw it coming in, I just covered it <laughs> here in the Two of Wands. So there it is, it's a strong, strong validation. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy, that completion energy is incredibly strong. Again, it can be there's some travel going on for some of you. The renewal. So again, just what everything that's been going on, it's just something else here coming up now. It's incredibly clear. A strong validation of the soulmate energy, of the timing around divine timing. Yeah, decisions being made. You have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The king of pentacles is coming in reverse and the devil in reverse. So that's a lot around the apologetic energy that they're coming in here with. Look, they're also coming in with the Nine of Pentacles because this pentacle is kind of like a not following through energy and it's here with the devil energy, which we felt coming in. And it's in reverse. That's an apology. It's connected to the Three of Swords. More Saturn energy and Capricorn energy as well. Virgo ruled by Mercury and the King of Pentacles. And again, that's in reverse. So there's not a lot. Um, they weren't following through with some promises. And by the way, there is some jealous energy here. 
that's coming from your person, I feel. Maybe it's from you. Maybe there is something around that devil energy that involved romantic third parties or some type of infidelity. You know, that won't be for everybody, but it is here, I have to say. So I do think it's for somebody. But whatever is around that devil energy, it's really clear that it has played a part here. Now they're coming in here with the Nine of Pentacles. Where is that Tenth Pentacle? There it is. Ace of Pentacles, bringing us into the Ten of Pentacles, which is on the table. Or the Ace of Pentacles, you know, handing it off to the Magician, giving us Ten. The Magician <laughs> loaning it to the Ace of Pentacles, bringing it here. We just saw something coming through. Okay. That just wanted to slide off the Wheel of Fortune. My gosh. Sagittarius. Again, putting us into the Ten of Pentacles here. Nine, attainment and fulfillment, things coming to fruition here. Developing this, coming back into either where you were or what was on the table, for sure putting it back on the table. This is incredibly clear. More Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. More validation, not that we needed it, of this faded connection. Destined connection, a new start for sure. And it's coming in via information. And we saw that from the very beginning. So I'm wondering what we, what, <laughs> excuse me. I, I want to move the energy. Okay. And the Four of Wands. Seven of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, strong energy, Queen of Swords energy. We saw that coming in in the Hierophant energy. So this Hierophant energy can be around some of this Devil energy. I'm going to put it here with the Two of Pentacles. So this is a card of commitments, contracts, partnerships, long term, can also be marriage. So this is also around the two of you, and it's connecting here to the Two of Pentacles. So you're here in this Two of Pentacles. Look, that eight, that infinity, the karma, the decision, your connection is here, and there's something else there. So for some of you, one, this is connected there because that's your connection, your contract, your partnership, your commitment, your relationship, you know, whatever type of connection it is, but also to something else. Again, is it just the lack of commitment that they're clear about? We saw in the Seven of Cups, it's in reverse. Is it other choices around that? Is it cultural, religious differences, distance? Are other people getting involved? Is this other pentacle their attachment to something in the devil card energy that they're needing to decide between? Did they make a decision between something? Did they choose something else and not you? Because they're choosing you. Whether it's around the devil energy or the higher font energy in the way that it's some, something else, they're choosing you. It's clear. Wish fulfillment here in the Nine of Cups. Seven of Wands is in reverse, Mars and Leo energy. And that's interesting because it's more of that Nine of Wands energy. It's like a wounded warrior protection look. Look at that. Nine of Wands and Seven of Wands in reverse are both here surrounding <laughs> this Eight of Cups in reverse who's coming back in saying, I've learned some lessons. I want to come back in here. Please forgive me. So there's a lot that you're holding on to. There's a lot I feel like you need to hear and work out. It's not magic. We know the Four of Wands is also here, Venus and Aries energy. This is a homecoming energy, much like the Six of Cups, the reunion energy as well. It's a little different. It can be for some of you that this is around friends and family and in, in person. You know, it's, a, it's incoming soulmate energy, a homecoming, an actual dwelling or an event, you know, city, state, country. But this is also just coming back together. It's a celebratory energy. It's a reunion energy. And the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. This is not surprising. What did we see? Well, we have the Ace of Cups here. So there we go. We saw the Ten of Cups coming in. Again, were you building a life? Had you already built a life? Was it on the table? It's very clearly on the table. So this is uh, kind of stressfully coming here. This energy has been really strong to tell you how they feel. Look at this. It is really strong. 
Queen of Swords, Libra ruled by Venus, Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury. Again, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. They have so much to say, their horse is freaked out. This is a lot of that energy too. I felt that coming through at the get-go with the chariot energy, you know, of just somebody that's hurriedly. So it can be that it's also, again, just in a message or a phone call, like speaking over, talking fast, a lot to say. Truth of how they feel, truth of, of asking for forgiveness, truth of how sorry they are. Maybe some things being revealed that you don't know. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the Nine of Cups, Jupiter, and Pisces energy. Things coming to fruition here, attainment, fulfillment. There is the Tenth Cup, the Ace of Cups. Also, the Magician has that cup. Again, is it borrowed from the Magician? <laughs> Given to by the Ace of Cups. I think it's more like the Ace of Cups is handing it over to the magician. In any case, that's putting us into that Ten of Cups again. And this already is wishes coming true. It's abundance. It's things happening. It's just incredibly clear. And a lot of what is happening here is has been coming through is it's going to begin with communication. This Knight of Swords wants to change everything here. Life-changing decisions. World card. Wheel of Fortune, a turning point in this connection. The end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation. The renewal, the magician, the Wheel of Fortune, the renewal, the completion energy, the world card. All the obstacles out of the way here, they are really hearing out Archangel Gabriel. So yeah, how they feel, what they want, apologies. So going back into the past here with the magician as support to alchemize all of that. Help set you up for the future if that's what you choose to do in that world card energy. So yeah, an offer, you know. And I say that loosely because sometimes I feel like it's, you know, yeah, somebody could be walking in when there's an offer with a ring. But that's not always the case, is it? Somebody isn't always just saying, hey, let's get back together. A lot of times it's all the communication. It's everything around it and you come to the decision together. They're definitely coming in here. This energy is loud, loud and clear loud and clear, pun intended. <laughs> Queen of Swords, total honesty. Needing it, bringing it. I really like this for you. I want to show you what's at the bottom of the Oracle deck. I'm shuffled. And by the way, I'm not reading Oracle in reverse right now. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it. So I want to show you. It's the healer energy. Look at that. It's the shedding of the skin. That's the renewal. This is bringing in some Queen of Cups energy, Cancer and Neptune energy, the healing energy. A lot of healing energy, reunion energy, renewal. And look at the snake is even making an infinity sign here. This is the renewal, the shedding of the skin. Also, they're coming in differently. That is, I want to say, shedding of the ego energy. So it's wanting to be bottoms up for you. Potential. Look at this seed right in front of the sun so it's sure to grow. And look at all those roots here. Long-term energy, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it, I don't need to go through it again. We already know that, but it's strongly connected with, with the magician energy here of the potential, but really kind of everywhere. What can I say? The roots. Did you already lay down roots? Are you laying down roots? But this is the seed growing and look what's coming out of it. So there are all the roots and here it comes. It's sprouting right in front of the sun, which is also here today, isn't it? Or am I imagining that? <laughs> so a lot has been coming through and a lot is buried here in any case. Fire. Yeah, this is another strong energy that I've been feeling. It's kind of like smoke signals in, in one way, too. It's like messages. Look, it's nocturnal. It almost looks like it's on the moon, doesn't it? Fire energy, which is you, Sagittarius, and that's movement. That's being inspired. That's just whew, going, you know? That's incredibly strong energy today. And that was another, th wow. That's another thing, too, is it's the fire in their belly feeling. Maybe it's they stepped in the fire, fire under their foot. That must be a saying somewhere in some language. <laughs> in any case, here is the time energy. And look, it's the, the thing. <laughs> Why do I always forget what this is? The hourglass? Times reminds me of days of our lives, that old soap opera. I know most of you are probably wondering what I'm saying. 
In any case, this energy has been strong. This is around this Knight of Swords, the Chariot energy. Like they're running out of time. They've read something, heard something, seen something. What is it? Here, There's the moon, the emotional revealing energy. All the stuff that's been going on and also trusting their intuition in a really big way as they come. Emperor energy here. Mars and Aries energy, Father energy leading the way. Look at that. Also a really spiritually giving energy around wanting things to work energy. It's not coming in with ego, that's the thing. But this is an energy of, of just getting this done, look grounded. Coming in here, there's something wanting to reveal, which is revealed too. Transformation and kindreds. Oh, I like this, kindred souls. I like this a lot. Look at that. Look at the roots. The divine energy, the clouds here, the sun, the reunion energy. My gosh, timing. Divine timing. Communication, growth, coming here with Father, with that emperor energy. Transformation. It's like not complete yet because, yeah, there's it's brewing. The butterfly energy has been really strong in your reading today with all the eights. It's just been like incredible. Grounded energy. Yeah, I do feel that there is... Not at the minute. I feel like there's a flight, and I don't mean that by a plane, although it could be, but that they're just kind of like whew, going, but feeling more grounded, you know, in what the decision that's being made here. That is what it is. Look, the arms are wrapped around the world energy here. The completion, the, the moving forward, the obstacles out of the way. Look at the roots, the connection, all the messengers, the divine messengers, five in fact. Yeah, five, around change, getting grounded, healing, the timing is just so incredible. Look, it's like the stars aligning where this timing is with the star and the wheel of fortune, both around timing, timing energies for me. It's real strong. The worker, that's the eight of pentacles coming through, busy little bee, we're making things happen. This is real strong to make that honey. Yeah, so it's a lot of around what they're going to say, too, because you, what is it? You catch more flies with honey. Is, am I saying that right? It's getting out of that ego here in the Father card. Look, it's coming here with the sun again. And what we saw here in this energy, look, and the potential. So here are, look at all the seeds and look at the sun beating down on them. Of course, Leo energy source, the happy outcome. It's been coming through incredibly strong throughout your entire reading. The workers working toward what? Look, union. Union. Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Magician, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it is just really clear. Nine of Pentacles. What do you want? Asked Archangel Gabriel. And their answer lies here today. This is their answer. Union. Coming together, reunion energy, union. What, what can I say? Your reading has been that kind of reading. Unexpected, but I feel it also still. Really hop, really like, like tripping over myself. My energy, you know. Messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Even getting your messages feels that way. Sagittarius, do you still love me? And it's right here with the devil card. What is this attachment that they're, they're working literally with a worker look on removing? Connected to fire potential in the sun. I was stupid. Do you still love me? I was stupid. I took you for granted. I'm trying to send you a message. Yeah, this has been really strong. You know, again, for some of you, maybe it's in person, but for those of you that it's probably most likely a message, and it's really clear the way this page, or excuse me, Knight of Swords is coming in. I spy on you, Page of Swords energy, which came in, it's buried, it's here. 
Yeah, so that's the watching, that's the holding on to the truth. And for those of you that have that connection, you know, I have to say, even if it's not talking to friends or family, they are talking to people you both know. They are, they are talking to people they know. I miss you. Yeah. We were meant to meet. That's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. I made so many mistakes. Five of Wands in reverse, trying to reverse those. That's fixing things. That's solving the problems. It's really wanting to restore harmony. You know, it's a, it's Temperance who was here, but Temperance is like way next level. I've never felt like this. Grounded. Soulmate energy, the world card. These are connected. There is so much left unsaid. That is the Knight of Swords. I made so many mistakes. It's coming here with the Queen of Swords, the truth. I was stupid again. This fiery energy can be, you know, a passionate energy too, connected with this devil in reverse. So something maybe that they did impulsively. I think of you all the time. Kindreds. I think of you all the time. Look at that, telepathic energy. Sagittarius, your reading is... Wow. Please forgive me. Five of Cups in reverse. Big time. For sure judgment, though, because that's really asking for forgiveness. You are my person. Your last channeled message, message from their higher self, Sagittarius. I stare into your eyes in photos. So that came through really strong before even the Page of Swords of just looking at their phone, looking at a computer, whatever, social media, if that's the case. Probably not actual pictures, <laughs> but maybe some of you have Real pictures, of course, which I have. Not everybody does that anymore, I guess. In any case. Sagittarius, I really enjoyed your reading. It's been, left me kind of breathless today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you so much love and so much light hoping for the best outcome for you. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Sagittarius.